Hello, this is a short video on how to move a PDF file to your phone. Uh, in this particular case, it's a, um, uh, say, a roster of uh, people's uh, contact, uh, phone and contact information in, in the condo setting. So uh, we start out with a PDF of that product, which, which looks something like this. Then you then what you do is you just uh, in either as an attachment from your regular mail program or whatever, or you can do it from within the Adobe Adobe product here that views it. You just mail it to yourself. So you mail it to yourself like that. Um, and uh, now then I go and check my mail on whoops let's get this guy under control uh here's a then the phone and i and now the first example i'll do is i'm checking this just in mac mail right in an iphone and then we'll follow up and do an example with gmail which is popular so here's the mail that's come in and now on this sort of screen display of the phone you can't see my fingers but what I'm going to do is just double touch this thing here to open up the attachment. With a, uh, with a Mac mail, with an iPhone mail, these attachments often just show up. You actually see a preview of them like that. So I open that. So now that file is actually, oops, not wrong device. I'm pinching this with my fingers, right? So there's now the attachment in the, in the Mac mail. And in one sense, I'm done. I could just save this mail or put it in a folder or something. But look at this nice feature that you've got in the iPhone mail. I can then just touch one of those numbers and call it. You have to probably touch. Oh, no, you don't touch it twice. Okay, so there you go. So you can actually call right from the email attachment. Or I just touched, a, I, I just touched an email address, and then you see it's... Uh, Oh, I'm typing on the wrong computer. Okay, never mind. Now I'm over here. You see, you can uh, then um, uh, return. You can write an email and send an email. Cancel. So delete the draft. So that all works fine. That's working from the email attachment viewed right in the iPhone mail. Now that does not work in Gmail. So we want to carry this a step further because Gmail is popular. So now the next step is I've got, do I have this open? Okay. Yeah, so there I opened it, and uh, I let's see, yeah, that's open. Now I want to go to this send uh, send button down here and push send, and that opens up these options here where you're going to send it or open it with. And if it's if you're using an iPhone, then the best bet for the iPhone is the iBooks. So here's where you want to send it, and if you if you have an iPhone and you don't have this app, it's just a free app that you download from the iBook store. It may come stock with the latest versions of the operating system, I'm not sure. It's certainly stock on the Mac itself, but with a phone, you may have to download it, but it's free and it's uh, no problem. It's a nice it's a nice uh, ebook viewer. And so then I'm just tapping that, and it's sending the book to that, uh, to iBooks and here it is on my iBook shelf and I'm again back over here I'm pinch zooming and it works the same way but now um, let's see here and you see once it's in iBooks now this functionality still works I just touch that number and I can call it oops I keep clicking the wrong button okay so uh, call it call it okay so that's placing a call cancel 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 okay now or I can send an email I just tap one of these emails and all of a sudden I'm I'm uh, sending an email and so that works pretty well for a sort of an interactive uh, roster and uh, once that's done once that's done, you don't. Uh, you can delete your email because it's now stored as an iBook book. Okay, so that's now the process for the iBooks. Now the next step is let's look at what happens for the uh, Gmail. 
So let me see here. I'm going to go say to the mail app. So there, when I, I send it to the Gmail, now you see it in the Gmail, it, it, it doesn't show up the same way. It shows up just with a, somewhere with an attachment. See, it just shows down here that there's a PDF attachment like that. So now I come down and touch that attachment and it opens that up. And so that so far is all looking similar to the other one, except if I touch one of these numbers, it just touches the number, right? So it's not interactive in that sense. So I go back to the same button up here. It's different. Okay, and I click that and again go across here to the bottom to the iBooks. Again, we're on an iPhone. Then I'll make another video with an Android device. So we do the iBooks, and it all does the same thing. Uh, it's back. It's in the iBooks now. So you can do this with a uh, with a Mac Mail, and uh, I mean iBooks Mail, whatever that's. I mean iPhone Mail, whatever that's called. Or you can do it with um, with the Gmail, and then you have this interactive uh, roster right in your phone. And that's all I want to show here. And then uh, later, um, I'll make an Android version of this.